there! Today I'm working in the 3D software we use when we design models and make building instructions for you when you build your LEGO Technic model. When you have downloaded the free app LEGO Building Instructions, uh, then you can actually go in and see the models that we put in for you to build. Um, I can actually show you how it works. You open the app and then you actually get the models that, uh, that's available for you. Let's say you want to build the street motorcycle, you choose that. And you both have uh, the primary and the alternative model on, on all the models uh, in the app. And then there's a video that shows you some of the functions of the model before you begin. I'm just going to skip that. And then it loads the, uh, the building app. And this is actually uh, the first step that you see in the building instruction. You have that here. Uh, very basically, you go step to step by pointing on this arrow. And then you have this small arrow here up here and a small slider. So if I push that, then you can actually see the elements being animated and then see exactly which holes they go into. And I can do that again. And then next step, two more elements that goes onto this model. And I can also see that by pushing that button. What you can also do in this app is actually rotate the elements. Then you can see your build from every side and every angle you want. You can zoom in and zoom out, and you can also move it like this on the screen. And even when you positioned it to see, oh, I need to see those holes and those beams, I can push this animation again, and then it shows how to connect the pieces. Yet another cool function is, you know in the building instructions you have this one-to-one -one where you can measure your cross axles and your beams. We actually implemented this also in the app. So any tablet you use this app on, you can trust this one-to-one -one that, that you see up here in the corner. So at this step, you need a three module cross axle and you can actually lay it on here and then test that you have the right length of cross axle or beam. In this corner, you have this button. If you push that, then you have the element overview. So you actually see which elements you need and how many of them you need. So this is basically just as in the paper version. When you get deeper into the build, I'll just skip this uh, beginning. You can see what happens when I slide this slider. You can actually see the ghosted view of the full street motorcycle and then you can see the elements being added. The reason why we did this is, let's say you are at this point and you're a bit in doubt about what am I actually building? Where is this going into the final model? If you just push this, then you get this ghosted view of the full model so you can see, ah, I'm actually building the frame and the rear suspension for this motorcycle. What you also can do with this ghosted feature if I just step forward here, you can actually also add it so that it's there all the time. That happens in this menu over here. Push that. Then you actually get the ghosted view of the full motorcycle every time you actually do a step. I'm just going to show you this neat little detail that we put into uh, to the timeline of, uh, of this building instruction. If I go forward in my build, right now I'm at step 9. Then if I use this scroll in the bottom, and I go through the model like this to see what happens later in the model, then it's actually suddenly difficult to remember where was I in the build. Because who remembers step 9 or something? We actually put in a nice little feature so that it automatically saves the place you were at. You just hit that little bookmark down here, the blue bookmark arrow, like this. It goes back to the step where you were just before. But let's say that uh, you actually took your model apart and you want to build it again then you need to reset this bookmark and start it over again. And you do that by actually using this button over here in the menu. This bookmark with a cross, it resets and you can see it goes back to zero for the first step. So if I push it now, I'm back at step one. I'll just go through this menu. As I showed you before, we have the ghosted view or the x-ray view. I can turn that on. Then I can see the full model uh, in the back in an x-ray view. Then there's this one. This is a guide to some of the functions I showed you how to spin the model, how to move the model, and how to rotate or zoom the model. That one was the bookmark reset, that one. And this one actually takes you back to the start screen where you select which model you want to build. And then you can, of course, hide the menu by pushing it there. So what we did was actually bring the 3D universe that we work in at LEGO when we build our models and do our building instructions and bring it to you because it is a bit easier sometimes to be able to zoom, rotate 
and look at all the small details when you do your build. So we added this extra layer of help for you. So go get the app, Lego Building Instructions. It's free. Just start building.